Hello and welcome back. This is part three of this series for the jack-o'-lantern. And this we're gonna show you how to paint it and then how to do the mask extract for the leaves. I'll have links up here for the playlist for the rest of the videos. And at the end of the video, I'll have one for the last one. All right, let's grab your iPad and let's get sculpting. Now, if you wanna get rid of this paint on here, on this one, it's pretty easy to do. You don't even have to be in paint. You can be in anything else. Click on paint and you can force paint this thing into anything. So we'll go here. You can see it always gives you a preview of what your paint's gonna look like. If you wanna give it just a little bit of metalness so you can see, sometimes I do, it just makes it a little bit easier to see what you're doing. And just say paint all, it'll paint the whole thing for you. Now if that's a little dark, let's lighten it up and go a little more orange. Change this to something flat, that'll work better. Now you can kind of see see it a little bit easier. Now if you want to put leaves or anything on here, I'll show you one last thing with the, the masking. It makes things a little bit easier to deal with. So we'll come in and we'll mask, mask a leaf so you can kind of see how it works. So that, now let's get turn this tube off, get it out of the way. So you can see I've got some masking in there, so we'll erase that real quick. Get rid of that masking right there. The select mask will be easier now and use the lasso. Now that you kind of have an outline, it makes it a little bit easier to follow what you want. There, now we have that mass and we can clean that up just a little bit it's just an easy way to whoops it's just an easy way to fill it in for you so you have your mask Okay, now you want to extract that. We'll come over to the mask and set, set it fairly thick. That way when you extract it, I'll show you a trick with this because the extract, no matter what you do, if you double click on it here, you'll see it softens it. If you click out here, it'll sharpen the mask. Either way, even if you soften it a little bit right there, when we go to extract it, it's gonna end up being kind of a rough edge right there. You see it's all kind of pixelated. So we can come over here and smooth this some, and it may not do, now you'll see it's moving around because I'm grabbing that. If we push and hold on this, now I can grab that. So you can smooth this some if you want, but to get rid of this ragged edge right here, it's really easy just to grab the gizmo. Now you'll notice that the gizmo is in the middle and it's not above this. So that's telling you that no matter what you do, the masking tools, it's a glitch in here. Even if you have this down here at the bottom that says front facing vertex only, it won't do it. It's just a glitch. So what I do is just grab the gizmo, pull it up and just array, get rid of that. Clean, trim it off, turn off symmetry and just trim that thing. And now when you grab your gizmo, it's, it's on your object that you, on your leaves. And what you want to do is come in here, just sink that down into your mesh and it's gone. But you also notice too that the, turn this off, you see you still have your mask. You need to select that, go to your mask and clear it and you'll get rid of that. Come back here, we can turn all these on now. So now you see you have, have a nice leaf on there and it's a separate mesh that you can adjust as you want. 
Well, thanks for watching, and if this helps you out at all, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. All right, thanks.